Hello, Winston Level here. Welcome back to Let's Play Dead Space 2 Hardcore Run. We're now in Chapter 3. After that somewhat troubling train ride. What am I doing on ammo? Not well. Which is unfortunate, because this part sucks. That was kind of, you saw me stomp a couple of times, what I meant to do was use a secondary fire of the line gun to put down a timed mine, but I wasn't aiming down sight, so I just stomped. Uh, fortunately, I got them all grouped together and I actually managed to kill quite a few of them with one line gun shot. And then I was in the corner and I had an angle on them, so this room is a major pain. And I just got a little lucky. Alright, let's go to the store. Alright, stasis pack downloaded, pulse rifle downloaded. Um, to sell that. So we're carrying. We've got two and three. We've got five slots occupied, which means we've got five slots empty. The weapons have their own slots. I'm going to buy the pulse rifle, which actually, interestingly enough, would have been very useful against the uh, the little enemies we were just facing. It's actually pretty good for them. Um, nothing else I want to buy really. I'm actually going to move this. I've been doing okay with stasis, so I'm going to just keep my fingers crossed that I'll continue to be fine with it. I got 50 rounds in this thing. So, all right. And uh, just to check, the secondary fire is a grenade. I don't really like the grenade. It doesn't seem to do much. Maybe once it's powered up, it does, but I'm not going to be powering it up in this run, so... Better off to just fire the normal projectiles. But now with the schematics downloaded, um, we got a little bit more room in our inventory. Uh, you might be able to kill that thing. I'd rather just let it go and not waste the ammo. Hey Dana, there's this crazy guy that keeps contacting me. I saw him back at the hospital. Nolan Stross. He was a patient in the project, just like you. Yeah? Well, why was he there? What does he want? He's a psychopath, Isaac. Order Stay clear of him. He murdered his own wife and child. Shot on okay, sight. Okay. This is not a drill. There is a way to get that thing, I just gotta find the right angle. And I really rather not leave without it. In fact, once I do get a hand, my hands on it, I am going to 
go back to the store and sell it immediately. Text log, let's, uh, let's have a look. Titan Part 2. United Space Ferry, Space Ferry and Guild History Series. Titan Station, Conquering a Moon, Part 2 of 2. Let's do it. A large colony was established on Titan to study the moon's every seismic detail and prepare for its disassembly. As the operation assisted with the, uh, assisted with the work became... Hang on a second. As the operation got underway... Sorry about that, I skipped the whole line. Uh, the orbital platforms that assisted with the work became prototypes for the planet crackers that would soon follow. Titan was successfully cracked and harvested, only slightly behind schedule. It was a major boost for the then beleaguered population on Earth who believed their extinction from lack of resources was imminent. Titan's harvest was halted before the entire moon was uh, dissembled, leaving a small shard where the original colony had started. From here, the station grew in leaps and bounds as uh, the new era of planet cracking got underway, serving as both a critical research outpost and with, its, uh, and with the advent of shock point drives, a way station for all planet cracking missions going forward. It is now whimsically known as the Sprawl for having done just that over the many years of its operation. Alright, now I know you can get this thing. I'm going to go to the store and sell that. Just because of I've been having inventory problems. Oops. And uh I might as well just do what I can to keep that to a minimum. And I'm also gonna buy A little bit of ammo. Alright. I think I have gotten what there is to get on this level. This director Tyman seems to like the sound of his own voice quite a bit. He's always on the damn speakers. I mean, yeah, I know it's a recording. But... Now the text log, let's have a look. Altman's Footsteps. Altman's Footsteps, a publication for the followers of Michael Altman. We, the children of the marker, grow tired of the oppressive thinly veiled attacks from EarthGov on our rights to worship as we please. Reduced uh, hours of operation for the church, fire marshal restrictions on the size of revival events, permits needed to distribute literature, these are all poorly concealed attempts to quash the truth, our truth, and they will not succeed. The blasphemous, short-sighted recklessness, destructive and hopeless path that EarthGov has us on is a dead end. One that only Unitology has the answer to. Altman has foreseen it, and we are blessed to execute it. Preparing yourselves, brothers and prepare yourselves, brothers and sisters. Convergence is not. All right, so unitology is just as crazy as it always was. Let's see if I can get this thing back online. residential. This looks like a unitology recruitment center. Am I still on track? Yes. There's an old maintenance access point in there that'll take you through the waste disposal system and into the Cassini Towers. Stay sharp. Okay. Probably the last place Isaac wants to be. Another text log. Let's have a read. Recruiting. Titan Station Church of Unitology recruiting report. Perry Gibbeau. Vested member. Tied status fully paid. Oh, well, he's paid up. 
Recruiting has slowed markedly in the last few weeks. This is surely due to EarthGov's recent slander campaign, painting us as carpetbaggers and insurrectionists in the press. Uh, regents from the church at, uh, at uh, Venus uh, Wayport and the Heliopause Observer are shocking in later this week's strategize response. Expect additional budget to be allocated to public relations and media to combat this trend. Also, the CEC layoffs continue to negatively affect recruiting targets. We're down almost 30% year on year. Get bow out. Hmm, a lot of people must be seeing sense if uh, the recruiting numbers are down. Can't come through the glass. Now, you could. You could here, if you so chose, blow out the glass and decompress them, but I just got a lot of ammunition by not doing that. So, well, I prefer not to do it, basically. So, yeah, you want to be careful. If you can't avoid blowing that out, I recommend avoiding it. Just want to make sure I haven't missed any any drops, which I don't think I have. All right, let's press on. That uh, exploder guy can be dangerous, so make sure, even if you can't hit his sack, make sure you kill him a, you know, a reasonable distance away. And if you kill him too close to the glass, he'll blow it out, so keep that in mind, too. I'm perfectly fine with just shooting him and burning some ammo. Oh, it's that guy. Okay, whoever sees this, listen up. You can use Kinesis to pull blades off dead ones and shoot back at them. Blades? That's what I should call them. Watch. Stay alive. Three hours using this trick. There you go. See? Just shoot it back at them. I'm gonna bleed out soon. I got clipped pretty bad in there. So I hope this helps you out. Alright, so kind of a good Samaritan there, which is really nice, uh, sharing his knowledge. And uh, of course, that's kind of a vital strategy for the hard run. You want to conserve as much ammo as you can, and that is a really excellent way to do it. You can use Kinesis to pull blades off dead ones and shoot back at them. Watch. Watch. Alright, so for now this is the level. This was a really bad idea. <laughs>